In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made. That's the beginning of the book of John in the Bible, chapter 1. The Bible says in John, chapter 1, that the Word became flesh. So Jesus left heaven. He left his power in heaven and he left his crown. And he came down and he was born as a baby. And he grew up to be a man. And when he was 30 years old, he went to meet John the Baptist. John the Baptist was down at the River Jordan. Pretend like this is a river. I visited there once and the water there is green. He was baptizing everyone who promised that they would be good from that day and forever after that day. So Jesus said to John, John, I want to be baptized. John said, Jesus, you don't need to be baptized. You're always good and you've never even made a mistake. You have a soft heart. Jesus said, no, I think this is great what you're doing and I want to get baptized too. So John said, all right, let's get in the water. So they went down in the river and John helped Jesus go down in the water and then he helped him get up and John said okay but you know what happened after that two amazing things I will have to let these sit down for a minute while I tell you what happened the sky opened up and there was a voice speaking out of the sky. It was actually the father speaking to his son. And he said, This is my beloved son. I am well pleased with him. And all the people said, Wow, that was cool. And then something came out of the sky. The Father said, Holy Spirit, take Jesus' power that he left in heaven and give it back to him now because he needs it. So the Holy Spirit came down from heaven. He's invisible, but people could see the power. The Holy Spirit can make himself into many Holy Spirit. So he stayed with Jesus, but the power, when it came down from heaven, came so fast, they thought it was a bird. They thought it was a dove. And John said, no, that's the Holy Spirit. So what happened from that day on is that the power stayed on Jesus. It was the same power that he used to create the universe. So the wonderful thing is that starting that day, he started to heal the sick. For instance, say there was a guy who had Jesus come over to his house. He was so sick. He would go over to the guy's house and he'd say, do you want to be well? Yes, please help me, Jesus. Jesus could bend over, touch the guy, and the power would just roll down off of Jesus and knock the sickness off of people. Sickness is bad and Jesus had power to shine that power and shine that darkness away. It was awesome. After that um, power would strike the people, the sickness would leave and they would get up and say, Wow! I feel better! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I really appreciate that. Jesus was like, no problem. Anyway, next week I'm going to tell you some more about that power that Jesus had to heal the sick. Thank you for listening.